here's where we're at. I'm making grilled cheese and I realize this is the single most important video I can make in my life. How I make a grilled cheese. I'm trying a new thing today, so this isn't even how I make a grilled cheese. I have this wee sandwich bread. Because it was lower in calories and I'm watching my calories. And plus, why not? I don't eat big sandwiches all the time. On this sandwich bread, I put just the lightest smearing of, must of mayonnaise on the inside. Then some of my homemade Dijon mustard. And then a couple of dribbles of Worcestershire. Because I had these potato chips and, uh, excuse me, crisps in England that had was that were called cheese toasty and they had Worcestershire and they were amazing. Um, I'll turn on the front heat. Right so um, then here, just a little bit of smoked cheddar, and so that we can get that really impressive cheese pull that everybody's all keen about. I've got Munster. Real quick though, let's put some butter in the pan. I gotta get a clean knife though, I don't wanna contaminate my butter. This is salted butter, because I like salt. Um, how much? That much. And don't you dare use more than that. Or less than that. Okay, I'm gonna grate some of this Munster. I grate it because uh, somebody told me to. America's Test Kitchen, somebody. He said it melts better. And you know what? It does. Of course it does. They're smaller pieces. Also, it's just so much cleaner this way. You don't end up with little strands of cheese. Wait, nope. Take that back, it's a total mess. Now, you can actually over cheese a grilled cheese and then it doesn't melt so good or do other things good either. Um, I don't think I'm at risk of that right now. We got our butter melting in our pan, by the way. And I didn't intentionally put Munster on one half and smoke chat on the other, but it's going to help me see my rough cheese ratio. I was hoping for more Munster. The problem with Munster is it doesn't really enjoy being grated. Kind of like mozzarella in that way. You know how mozzarella kind of resents it when you grate it, even though it's so good grated? This monsters that way. Oh no. My laptop screen shut off. I mean, it's okay. I'm not really using it, but I could have been. Turn back on. Nope. Doesn't want to. Thank you. All right. Now we got our cheese. And then we're going to close it. Ready? Meow. And the right thing to do is actually to mustard your bread or to mayonnaise your bread because mayonnaise browns better. But I felt like butter today. So we're doing it. Then I'm going to put this in here. Dang it. So many things just happened. I make cookies earlier. These are all the cheese shavings right here, so I'm gonna like tilt them into my hand and then like, you know, just throw them in there. And then, because I feel special today, and like I deserve all of the awesomeness that cheese can bestow upon me, I'm 
we're gonna do ourselves right. Right here we got some Roma. No. Of this Romano. Oh, sorry, not sponsored. That was more than enough. Okay. Put your cheese away, okay? Don't be a slob. And maybe while you're in here, you pick out the cider that is going to pair with this. Try that. Maybe try this. Oh. Man, I think we haven't tried most of these. I don't know if cider is the traditional accompaniment for grilled cheese, but tonight it is. So. I'm gonna peek under here. It's brown and real good, perhaps too much. That's okay. Turn down the heat a little. I'm gonna take this half of this Romano and put it on this bread here. It would have been good to mayonnaise it. Throw it with like stick. It's fine. Now I'm going to turn it over. Go there, stick on the bread. Okay. And then what you do if, you're, if your cheese isn't melting, you can cover your sandwich. And that I think helps it melt. Now the, and then as long as you uncover, it'll crisp up again. So, you know. Great. That looks good, right? Now we need a glass. Where's the... Rinse out the top of the can because rodents and shoes. What's our timer, you say? Is that the sandwich? Nay. Nay, I say. I don't usually have cider, but I treated myself this week. We'll do a review of that in a mo. A minute ago I burnt my hands on this, so you know it's that I carefully touched it to see if it was hot. Where'd you put that thing, girl? Oh, it's right here. Oh, hello. You're attractive. Now it's your turn. Give yourself a timer. Now we turn this guy over again. He's not totally melted. But we want the cheese on the other side to melt. Too small. Good enough. Okay, this is described as raspberry lemonade cider. Yeah, 
Yeah, that tastes like raspberry lemonade. And cider. A plus plus. They named it well. Okay, let's take this off. Oh yeah, I could put more cheese on. Should we sit? Bring it over here. Mm hmm Almost. And then there's these for later. For afters. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay. Come back over here. Turn that off. Pull it out. Scrape out the delicious fried cheese bits that are yummy and belong in your mouth. Well, in your stomach. By in your mouth. Should we cut this in half for you? Okay. Because you asked nicely. Now. Is this a grilled cheese? Yes. Proof? Because it has nothing but cheese in the middle. There's the pole. Let me taste it and tell you what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. It's like somebody loves me very much and made me a cheese sandwich. And then loved me even more and hated it. Perfect.